Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back to our channel once again. <laughs> William Samera Pluto, the President of the Republic of Kenya, today made some controversial appointments. William Ruto appointed Margaret Wanjiro and Millicent Omanga to the Nairobi River Commission. Those appointments, in my view, are significant politically speaking for two main reasons. Number one, one of the reasons Riyadh Yashaga was removed from office was because he refused to follow a cabinet decision on demolition of houses along the Nairobi River. Ferdinand Waititu, the former Kiambu governor, resigned as a member of the Nairobi River Commission and has been playing a key role in the campaigning William Samoy Arapluto. By the time of doing this video, Millicent Omanga had actually rejected that appointment. And that's why I'm saying this appointment is significant politically speaking. Let me just go through what Melissa and Omanga posted because in this video, I want us to do a critical analysis why William Broto picked Omanga and Margaret Wajiro, two individuals who do not qualify or who do not have qualification on managing rivers or environment. This is what Melissa Domanga has posted. I am deeply honored and grateful to His Excellency William Ruto for the trust you've shown in appointing me to serve on the Nairobi River Commission. It's truly a privilege to be considered for such a vital role in improving our beloved Nairobi environment and public health. After a careful consideration, I must respectfully decline the appointment due to personal reasons. I remain committed to supporting efforts aimed at restoring Nairobi River and stand ready to contribute in any capacity that aligns with my current commitment. Thank you once again for this honor and for the consideration to serve Kenya in this way. But first of all, why do you think William Ruto decided to appoint Margaret Wanjiro and Millicent Omanga to this commission. Before we get into all those details, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let us dive in. But again, before we dive in, allow me to also take this opportunity to thank the following people. You are seeing their names there for the coffee they sent to me earlier today. It goes a long way in supporting this channel. You can also do the same using the numbers you are seeing on your screen. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who have been following this channel, Millicent Omanga is a very close ally of the president. Margaret Wanjiru was a very close ally of President William Samayana Pruto. Both of them are playing city politics. So Margaret Wanjiru lost in her bid of becoming the governor of Nairobi. And of course, Millicent Omanga also lost. And William Ruto ended up appointing them, both of them, as chief administrative secretary. Millicent Omanga was chosen to be kind of uh, very powerful in the docket of the Ministry of Interior. In fact, on this channel, when those appointments were made, I opined that William Ruto was just playing politics with them. But let us not get into that for now. Why would William Ruto appoint Margaret Wanjiru and Millicent Omanga to this, to this position? For me, I think William Ruto is looking at Nairobi politics. In the last election, William Ruto performed fairly well in Nairobi, considering the fact that the Kikuyu nation, who most people had projected were going to vote for Raila Odinga, voted for William Ruto. At the end of the day, William Ruto was able to win several seats in Nairobi. He was also able to win <coughs> the gubernatorial seat in Nairobi. Now, with the exit of the mountain from William Ruto's camp, William Ruto is looking into a bleak feature. I doubt if William Ruto will be able to win the number of seats his party UDA in Nairobi because of the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa and of course 
the promises and the fact that now he's working with Raila Odinga and most of the people who voted for William Ruto in Nairobi, especially the Kikuyu Nation, voted for him because Raila was working with Uhuru. So Nairobi politics is getting a bit complex for him. Millicent Omanga is a veteran in Nairobi politics. Margaret Wanjiro is a veteran in Nairobi politics. And the fact that political realignments were taking place, William Ruto had to appoint them. I'll be waiting to see whether Margaret Wanjiro is also going to take up this appointment. Millicent Omanga has actually rejected the appointment. So I don't know, but I think William Ruto was trying to, or is trying to start fixing Nairobi politics. Because remember, Margaret, Margaret Wanjiro promised William Ruto that one day he will look for her. And indeed, William Ruto has looked for Margaret Wanjiro. And arms, hurting bodies, you truly, truly, truly have rewarded us with evil. A week ago, we shared the pulpit in Nyayo Stadium, repenting as the body of Christ because of sins that were committed to our very dear friend, good minister, and a father in the gospel, Ben Hinn. We did very well. But behold, after Ben Hinn forgave, or whoever else forgave us, is this the revival we were expecting? Land grabbing by government officials in front of the eyes of government? How many screams does Bishop Margaret Wanjiro has to make for any one of you to respond and rescue us? Is this how you reward our work and our hard labor for this government? Why did we bring in Benihin? And I was part of the organizing team. We brought him in because we felt that forgiveness. We remove the cloud of darkness and remove the curse that have been hovering around this country. Now let me tell you something. My president and my deputy president from today, this Margaret Wanjiro that was beaten my clothes lifted up but he, by young men who are police, police security agents, they touched my eyes, me, a woman of God. I want to make a very sweet promise to you. Believe you me, you will look for me. You went for Benihin in America, for me, you will look for me and I'm not moving and I'm not going anywhere. I will be here. You have started a fight that you cannot fight. This one is in the heavenlies. We have lived with this community parking all these years. We have never fought. You are using the MD railways. I pity his family. Because as I cried yesterday and today, even his family plus yours are not exempted. My tears will pay. We are hurting, we are bleeding. But behold, Isaiah 61 anointing stands. Jehovah God healed the brokenhearted. We are disappointed with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Extremely disappointed. I was one of the founding members of UDA. I campaigned two years straight when others came to just steal what I had worked for. Yet, I let go. I've loved you, my president. I've loved you, my deputy president. I've loved your family. When you call, I obey, I answer. I've never disrespected or disregarded you. I've always loved you, prayed for you, and blessed you. But behold, from this day, take it from this altar. Tables are turning. Thank you. I'm done. To the men and women of God. Number two. William Ruto is also trying to forestall <laughs> any move to regain the Gashagwa's camp. The fact is, political realignments are taking place in the Republic of Kenya, especially in the mountain. When you look at Nairobi politics, Mount Kenya has a lot of impact on it. 
So the way the mountain is aligning in the Kikuyu nation or in the mountain there has a side effect, a direct effect on Nairobi politics, how they vote. So what Ruto is trying to do is that he doesn't want people like Margaret Wanjiru because they can now decide that, okay, this guy really messed my church. I can now go and side with Rigadi Gashagwa. Maybe I can become their candidate. Something which, for example, White Tito has done, Waruguru has done, several others. So Omanga and, uh, and, uh, Omanga and uh, Wanjiru are still there. So he's trying to forestall by appointing them. He wants to show them that I'm still with you. If other appointments come across or comes by, I can still consider you. Pick this. So I think it's because he doesn't want any of them to join Riyadi Gashagwa's camp. Number three, William Ruto is also trying to consolidate his support base. Let's face it. Let's face it. If you even take Nairobi itself and you go back to the UDA, UDA elections which were ongoing, Rigadi Camp was almost winning. That's the reality. Rigadi Camp was almost winning. That's the political reality. Because William Ruto, after entertaining or after entering into the handshake with Raila Odinga, forgot his basis. So reality is now dawning on William Ruto that his bases are shaky. Look for Omanga. Look for Margaret Wanjiro. If you check that list, there are also other politicians. He's trying to consolidate them. So this guy is in the expectation that these guys will help in consolidating the bases. Number four, William Ruto, in my view, is also trying to reward his allies. If there's one thing most Kenyans believe William Ruto is good at, is rewarding his allies. Unlike Raila Odinga, Raila Odinga in most cases would consider the face of Kenya first. For William Ruto, he's considering the people who stood with him. If you look at people who've been appointed to serve in Kenya Kwanza government from the time they took power up to now, you'll agree that almost 90% are people who campaigned for William Ruto. Not new people. People who campaigned for William Ruto. That's why the other time you saw the former Machakostan MP, Victor Munyaki, declining an appointment. Because William Ruto is trying to reward him. He's in the cold. Omanga is in the cold. Margaret Wanjiro is in the cold. The rest. So it's trying to reward them. Because some of these people feel that they really put effort. But those efforts are now going into, into waste. And lastly, I'm looking at 2027 presidential elections. William Ruto is already planning and scheming for 2027 presidential elections. That's why he's not looking for these guys. And I can assure you, moving forward, we are going to see more politicians being appointed to some any government position which will arise, William Ruto will be appointing his people. Of course, he'll be doing that because he wants to have his team ready. Yeah. In fact, one of the reasons I think I believe uh, Omanga declined this appointment is because of Nairobi politics, which is not, you know, the Kiku factor in it. That's in favor of Ruto. Ruto must either be with Raila Odinga or on the other side. Now it's with Raila Odinga. But Raila Odinga has ODM party. Yeah, some of these people, like for example, Om Omanga can easily decide to join ODM and remove uh, Pasaris as a women rep. She can easily do, do that because this is politics. By declining this appointment, she might be planning to, to, to do that. So in my view, Ruto is plotting for 2027. He wants to bring all these people together, consolidate First of all, they move, have them together in one basket. Then he can play his 2027 presidential elections. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.